Hello guys, welcome back to my another tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this Doctor Strange portal effect and um, it looks like this it is quite chip simulation so you can run in real time so let me get started first of all I'm going to open up a new scene and um, let me have a nerve circle let me turn on the grid and um, just rotate it by 90, 90 degrees and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to key the rotation of it and move to frame 10 and rotate it again so now it keys automatically if you turn on the auto key if you didn't just key it manually and now we can go to the graph editor with that nerve circle selected and select this graph make this linear and make this repeat by um, turning on the infinity post infinity yeah now we see this we're gonna see this um, rotate perpetually so I just extend those timeline and uh, One more thing I'm gonna do before we actually emit, create uh, and particle emitter. I'm gonna, I'm going to create a cube, a polar cube, and I'm just gonna go to the edit mode and scale it down a little bit. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna raise it a little bit within the edit mode so the pivot states here so we can rotate it like this which is pretty cool so yeah let me just make it a little smaller because yeah we don't need that big size here so basically we're gonna do the same thing here key the rotation go to the frame 10 and rotate it something like that doesn't have to be exact just um, make sure it looks like it's rotating another post infinity there with offset so now it rotates so that's good so let me close it and now we are ready to create an emitter for the actual effect so let me go to the FX tab and in this M particles menu we can emit from objects so let me select the Q first and let's hit emit from object now if you play this animation this is what you're gonna see so definitely we need little bit of trick here uh, first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the emitter type to directional not the Omni so let me check out the result real quick now that's how it looks like and um, yeah directional and we make it faster yet faster in speed and maybe we don't need that high rate let me spread a little bit a little bit of randomness in speed as well and direction to be something like y z direction that's a little too much so, um, just um, I'm a 
little confused. Uh, too high speed, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, something like that. And um, I think that's still too much. This is just for the start, right? Just for the start animation. And <coughs> also, we can use damp for this. Okay, now we're gonna um, set the lifespan. Let me use the random range and let's make it die a little f bit faster here yeah now most importantly the shading option I'm gonna use the multi streak so now you see those um, trails this is gonna make it longer so let me just reduce the count a little bit Maybe you can adjust the radius and you can make this thing longer definitely. Uh, direction looks like it's wrong. make some adjustments here <coughs> um, let me try the surface maybe <coughs> then we can maybe we can use the tangent speed should edit the object a little bit let me just um delete those faces and just leave it out like that and now we only have that um, one surface and if we run the simulation again this is um a working Yeah, let me just um, remake it. Maybe the disk is gonna work better. So the idea is the same, just um, raise it up. Just rotate it, something like that. And just scale it down, like that. And we're gonna key the rotation. And just, um, yeah, make it rotate perpetually. There we go. So, okay. Now I'm gonna create the meter from this object again. And this time, um, let me move from the surface. Maybe more speed. Tangent speed is gonna work. And, um, Yeah, I'm gonna change it to the multi streak so we can see it better. Okay. Don't need that much. So. Let me 
set the lifespan again. Um, something like that. speed is going to work better. And definitely we should make it spread a little bit. Surface type is the best. Just emit more particles again with multi script. It's gonna work. So let me just um, do a quick shading here. Let me select the disk. I mean, um, the in particles. I think this is the one. You don't need the previous one. So definitely, we need more counts there. higher emission rate okay um, and the color can be um, red to yellow be smaller so let me go to the other mode maybe you can make it smaller like that
yeah let's uh, stop with that there and this one is a little simpler you can do the same thing here basically you can select the object and you can just emit from object again and change the type to curve that's almost all you have to do okay and you can just um, add a tangent speed this time that makes it easier we use um, multi streak like we did before Span is also important. Okay, you can just um, increase the rate again, and um, longer tail size. Right over here. Yeah, it looks better and. Capacity will help. Yeah, let's add a little bit of damp here as well. Yeah, I think it should be faster. Um, let's see. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Again, the color, we can do the same thing in the shading, color, and you can just make this thing a little radish color there, and add another color. Some sort of orange. Now it looks like that. You can make this gradient more like complicated if you want. Just, um, maybe you should spend more time to make this thing even similar. Yeah, what I think is, um, uh, yeah, I'm okay. And now is. Um, Time to keyframe the rate here. Before we go, actually, I think we should um, make the animation a little faster. So, in the animation graph editor again, you can just select it and just drag it to the left a little bit and just move to Y pressing W. So now it just goes like that. Let me just turn off the Let me just hide it to see it better. Uh, I think um it's working differently. change the type again yeah maybe this is gonna be a better option so what I'm gonna do is As you can see the um, yeah, the disc only have to circle a single time, so we can just uh, key the 
emission rate to prevent it from emitting abundant particles so you can set key and go somewhere like frame 30 and set key again oops okay set key again and next frame zero again I'm going to do the same thing in the particle 3 I'm going to go to frame uh, 29 or something set the key and make it zero in the previous frame now it's just gonna look like this maybe we should make the lifespan a little longer on the particle 2 let me just try that Maybe you, maybe you should spend more time making this transition more smoother, but yeah, for now it's um, kind of working pretty nice. I think it looks a little different from my practice, but um, yeah, anyway, we got the effect. And if you want to make a collision on this one, you can just create any object and you can just simply apply a pass a collider from Anclo tab. So let's just let me show you how it's, how it's working. If you just run the simulation, you just um yeah it just collides. Also it just slows the simulation down a little bit. But it works pretty fine, right? I don't really remember how it looked like in the movie, actually, but yeah, I, as I remember, it is quite similar, right? And um, yeah, you don't want that kind of crazy bounce, you can just add a little bounce to it. So, yeah, that's basically how it works. Anyways, um, that's basically it. I just forgot one thing though. Maybe you should reduce the mass in the dynamic properties so you will get the better result with that. I just forgot it. Anyway, that's the um, kind of uh, final result. Not like complete, but yeah, it looks like uh, Doctor Strange Portal. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment down below.